Oklahoma Baptist Church camp settles lawsuit over 13-year-old girls rape by cook. The operators of an Oklahoma church camp where a man working as a cook raped a 13-year-old Texas girl have settled a lawsuit with her family. Benjamin Petty, 37, avoided any jail time and received just 15 years probation after he pleaded guilty to first-degree rape in January. The young girl's family have now reached a settlement with the Baptist General Convention of Oklahoma, which describes itself as the largest youth camp in the U.S. Details of the settlement were not disclosed, including any possible money settlement. The girl's family had been seeking $75,000 against the Baptist General Convention, which runs the camp, the country estate's Baptist church, which was responsible for hiring Petty and First Baptist Church of Terrell, the church through which she was first introduced to the camp. They argued that the churches were negligent for failing to carry out background checks on Petty and allowing him unsupervised time alone with their daughter. While details were not revealed, the Baptist General Convention has agreed to take unspecified steps to improve safety at its Falls Creek camp. The lawsuit seems to close the book on a rape case that has attracted national attention for months and even led to one prosecutor resigning. David Pyle, the assistant prosecutor who handled the case, resigned in January after Petty's plea deal made headlines across the country. Along with 15 years probation, Petty was required to wear an ankle monitor for 24 months, register as a sex offender, and seek treatment. Pyle argued that a major reason he did not insist on prison time in the case was because Petty is legally blind. His decision attracted swift and severe criticism from both the district attorney and victims' rights advocates. Murray County District Attorney Craig Ladd said he disliked the way the case was handled. I want it to be known that I strongly disagree with the lenient manner in which the Benjamin Petty case in Murray County was prosecuted in many respects, Ladd said. Failure to hold perpetrators accountable regardless of their disabilities sends the wrong message to victims of crime, added Candida Manuan, executive director of the nonprofit Oklahoma Coalition Against Domestic Violence and Sexual Assault. There is a lack of knowledge about sexual assault within the criminal justice system, and what we know about violent offenders is that they worry offend. Petty attacked the Texas girl in 2016 while she was attending the Falls Creek Church camp in southern Oklahoma. The camp cook lured the girl into his bedroom, saying he would show her how to do tricks on a device, according to Kfar. He then tied a rope around the girl's wrists, raped her, and threatened to hurt her if she told anyone, according to investigators. More than 100,000 people also demanded that Marshall County District Judge Wallace Coppage step down after he accepted Pyle's plea deal. During the sentencing hearing, Coppage claimed he was approving the plea deal because the victim's parents consented to the deal. But the victim's attorney, Bruce Robertson, said the family only agreed to the deal because they were told their daughter's rapist would not serve any meaningful prison time due to his medical conditions. The family was not provided any other alternative, he told the Oklahoman. More than 100,000 people signed a petition calling for the judge to be removed from the bench in March. Even though the plea was negotiated with the victim's parents' permission, the terms of the sentence are absolutely ridiculous, the petition states. The fact that Petty was legally blind does not bar him from being able to serve prison time for his heinous crimes. It soon after emerged that Coppage, who was first elected in 2010 and re-elected in 2014, allowed convicted child rapists or pedophiles to avoid jail on at least seven previous occasions, according to a review by the Oklahoman. In one case, a father who raped by instrumentation four girls he had recently adopted received just 20 years probation. In another, a father received just 10 years probation for molesting his stepson and daughter. Coppage's current term ends in 2019 but he will be automatically re-elected for four more years on the bench after he ran unopposed yet again, despite the controversy.